Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, so on a previous video, I was uh, talking about what I was going to do with these wheels. And um, I've sort of ummed and armed about what I'm going to do with them. Whether to try and clean them up, um, whether to just replace the spokes. So I thought, well, if I'm going to try and clean it up, I've got to get the spokes off because I'm not going to be happy not being able to get into all the little nooks and crannies in the, um, in the hub uh, and also be able to clean up the smoke nip uh, spoke nipples and the spokes themselves so um these have all been soaking in um penetrating fluid for a few days uh, hence the reason why it's taken a while to uh, to do the next video um and i've had other things to do in the meantime but um i've tried to get some of these spokes out and um some of them are moving and some of them are just absolutely um rock solid you know if i do that um, I don't know if you can sit on the camera, can you? Yeah. Um, basically, all that's happening there, it looks like the nipple's undoing this, but it's not. All that's happening is the spoke itself is twisting. Um, and it doesn't matter, I've tried a few of them. A few of them have come loose, but the vast majority are just not, not coming loose. So, um, it's on to plan B. Um, and uh, plan B is to um, replace the spokes because I can't really, I can clean them in situ, but I'm not going to get them as, as, as good as I know I'm going to want them. So, um, it's angle grinder time. I'm going to cut all these out, um, save a lot of grief, um, separate the hub from here, uh, from the rim. Um, same with the, uh, the rear wheel, and then we'll take things from there. Okay, so my safety glasses on. Put some gloves on. There we go. Give a bit of a little protection from the angry spanner. And let's give it a go. Right, there we go. Seems a bit brutal, but uh, just got to clear up and get rid of all these broken spokes now. So they are different these spokes, the inner and outer spokes are different, so um, each spoke as you pull it out, so if we pull out a, I think that's an outer, that could be an inner, and that one will be an outer, we can get that one out, uh, let's have a look, yeah you can see there's definitely a difference, um, as to which one's which one's which so the inners and the outers are definitely different um, so when older the new ones they'll be marked up as inner and outer so I'll, show, I'll need to keep those separate um, I'm going to replace these with stainless steel um, spokes you only do it once well I'm going to do this once so um, for the extra cost you might as well put stainless steel ones in and be done with it I put messing around they're not that expensive. Um, this is just time consuming. That's the, the issue with this. Um, I know a lot of people, as I've said before, don't like to um, lace wheels, but it's uh, once you get into it, it's not too bad. The next video, or well, not, not the next video, but a uh, following video at some point will um, show that process. So you can see exactly how it's done. Not all wheels are the same, but they all follow the same 
basic principle. So the nice thing about doing this is that um, it allows me to clean this hub up uh, properly. So what I'll do is I'll I'll put it in the parts cleaner. Um, when it's been in the parts cleaner, we can go in the ultrasonic bath if it still needs cleaning after that. We'll have a look at uh, perhaps trying something else, but um, I suppose we could always spray it if we wanted to, but it isn't sprayed at the moment. It's just bare alloy and I'd rather leave it like that rather than painting enough to repaint it when the paint starts flaking off at a later date. It'd be better to just leave it as it is. I suppose it could be anodized actually, thinking about it. Yeah, it might well be anodized. So I don't really want to use abrasive on it unless I have to. Um, yeah. So the seal looks in good condition. The so bearing look, looks in good condition. It spins nice and freely. Um, pretty sure that's had new seals in, like I said before. So that's all good. Right, let's get rid of this lot. Right, that's everything um, cleaned up. The, I think it's fair to say the front wheel is in better condition than, um, than the rear wheel. Uh, I, didn't, I wasn't thinking that was the case when I first started to um, clean it. I know that this wheel came from the US, I've mentioned that before. Um, this one I don't know, it was just on the bike, but um, the, um, the alloy on this one is definitely in better condition than that. When I say it's in better condition, um, what I mean is that one's got, a, I don't know if you can tell, but particularly around there, it's got like a sort of bluing on the rim, um, whereas this one has, has got very little of that. So this one definitely um, is just going to come up with some um, autosol, uh, or if you're in the US, mothers, um, and I'll mask off that uh, DID um, sticker because I want to try and retain that. Um, you see, I'll bring that in a bit close so you can see it. Um, where is it? There it is. Sorry about the strobing. There we go. Right, so there's a, a genuine DID um, sticker there, which I'm, I want to retain. So um, I'll mask that off before I um, start with the autosol. Um, the hub itself, again, it's come up okay. Um, it's a bit marked in areas. Mm, don't know. I'm, I'm tempted to to spray that with an aluminium spray paint um, just to make it more even. Uh, I'll see how the room comes up and then we'll, I'll take a view on that then. Um, this one's going to take a little bit more effort. I might have to get the Dremel out on this one and um, see if I can get rid of some of this bluing. Uh, but I've got some water sole out at the minute so we'll have a go at that in a second. The, the hub again has come up in really good condition. Um, I really don't think I need to do anything with that at all. I'm probably just going to leave that as is. Um, and on the back side of that, um, that's all come nice and clean in there. So the bearings are in great shape. So no worries there. So where's my ultra salt? We'll try a bit of ultra salt on some of this bluing and we'll see if it makes any difference. Let me see if I can get a bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Hopefully you can see that there's a sort of bluing on the rim. Um, I'm not sure the camera's picking it up, but uh, it could just do with 
polishing off if possible. Again, <clears throat> genuine DID sticker down here, which I want to retain. So I'm going to have to be careful with that. But uh, okay, I'm going to give this a go with salt sole, um, and I'll see if I can show you the difference when I'm I've done a small section of it. You can normally tell whether you, what sort of if it goes black like that, you know you're through, or there's no clear coat or anything on there. That's just generally the grime that's on the um, alloy itself coming out. This might come up all right. Okay, a bit of a before and after shot. So this is before and after about two or three minutes with the Solvo, auto sole. That's the finish we've got. So there's still a few marks in there, which I'm sure if I carry on will come out. But basically the difference is there to see quite clearly. You can now see that there's a definite bluing on that. As you come around to the bed I've done, you can just tell there. That's the side I haven't done. That's what I have done. So um, same on the inside of the rim as well. So um, I'm happy that that'll come up and look like I want it to to look like so it's literally two minutes um, with a rag um, the other thing I like to do when I've completely polished it is I use something some jewelers rouge um, on this which is like a, a dodgy looking white powder which you just sprinkle on and then wipe off with a clean cloth um, and it just adds that finishing touch to it and gets rid of any other imperfections or fingerprints or whatever you left behind um, I learned a long time ago the most important thing with polishing stuff is not just putting it on but making sure you've got it all off as well um, anyway so uh, I'll carry on doing that um, I'm not going to subject you to watching me polish an entire rim or rims um, but I think that's it for the wheels uh, for now so the next time we see the wheels will be when I've uh, got the spokes I'm going to go and order those in a bit and um, then I'll show you how to lace the uh, the wheels once I've got those. Anyway, that's it for this video. So um, hope you enjoyed that. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next video.